And Manchester United has had a shaky start to the season. Seven matches down and United is sitting at 14th in the Premier League table. But who better to talk about Manchester United than the club legend and the winner of 17 titles for this iconic club, Gary Neville. Gary, welcome to NDTV. It's your second time in India. What brings you here? Yeah, I'm here to support Apollo Tyres and their United We Play programme, which has been going now for four years and giving the chance to 30,000 young children to be able to take part and win a competition to go to Old Trafford to train at Carrington, but more importantly to increase participation levels and excitement in football, which is something that I'm really passionate about. Manchester United's greatest value, I believe, is giving young people a chance and the idea of this programme is to do such a thing. So the way in which they connect the excellence of the United coaches to so many people is really innovative as well. I think the use of technology, obviously we know all about technology more in the last five, ten years and it's a great programme and I'm here to support that programme. You know, it hasn't really been a great start to the season for United. As a former player yourself and someone who has seen the good times, what is your advice to the fans at the moment? Be patient, take your time, be patient, we're Manchester United fans, we will be successful again at some point in the future, it does take time, we have it's cycles in life. Liverpool weren't very successful for 30 years, we had a period in the 80s and 70s where we weren't very successful, so it has happened before, we know that history sometimes repeats itself, but we will be successful again, it just takes time and that ultimately, you know, hopefully with the football can get, you know, get good again in the next few years and sort of the club can become successful and win trophies. Um, the Premier League for me is the most important trophy and that's going to be a very special day when that comes to Old Trafford again. You know, having said that, uh, what do you think the coaches and the players of uh, United need to do right now? I mean, look, come together. I mean, togetherness is important when you have a team spirit and a, and a togetherness. Um, obviously, it's been a very difficult start to the season, but I hope the international break means that the team have been able to recalibrate, reset and... You know, no, no football player or coach likes being criticised for their performances. So I think now the idea of them coming together and being really aggressive as a unit and making sure that they're compact and they fight for each other. And they show a level of determination to score goals. I mean, that's what they need to do in this next few weeks. No matter how you do it, just try and get those goals in the back of the neck, build, build some confidence in your victories and then you know, who knows what can happen. You know, speaking about the captain, Bruno Fernandes, you know, he has been uh, the go-to man for United in the last couple of seasons, but he hasn't really been up to the mark this season. What have you made of his performance and uh, how do you think it affects United overall? He's been really consistent though. I mean, I have to say for the last five, six years, his consistent levels of performances, his goals, his assists, you're bound to have a, di a, a dip. It's obviously challenging at the moment for the team if he's not playing well because he does have a big influence on the team. But I think he'll come out of it because he has got a passion and a determination to be successful. And like I say, hopefully after this international break, the team, including Bruno, can come back and be in great form. OK, so what is the realistic target for United this season, according to you? Because it's only seven games in in the league, I think Champions League football is obviously still very important to the club. Yeah. So that shouldn't, that shouldn't change. Obviously, they'll have to improve in the next few weeks, the club and the United. But I think also winning trophies. Eric Ten Hag's won two trophies in the last two seasons. And you know, winning trophies build com builds confidence and belief. Right. Uh, in fact, talking about Indian football, you're here in India. Do you see potential here? And uh, do you see an Indian player playing in the Premier League one day? I think, it, I think that with the investment now into the professional league, obviously the, if the access to coaches for young players and the access to facilities, you know, all the clubs now have to, I think, put academies in place and reserve teams in place. So there is a great chance with this emphasis on production of young talent and the coaching excellence being transferred from different countries around the world to India. There's a great opportunity for a player to come from India and play in the Premier League, I think, in the next 10, 15 years. And it would have a huge impact in this country. All right, uh, Gary Neville, enjoy your stay in India and thank you very much for speaking with NDTV.